The University of the Gambia, through its School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences, has on Wednesday inducted a total of 40 medical doctors. The induction ceremony was attended by the Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Peru Gomez, the Minister of Health, Ahmad Lamin Samate, Chairman of the Medical and Dental Council. Speaking at the ceremony, the Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Professor Peru Gomez says, career journey into the medical profession for the graduates starts after taking their oath. This batch of doctors bring to now come to more than 300, can say 321, but the data can be looked at after. But more than 300, that's what this government has done since the last batch in 2006. But you've heard the Minister of Health talked about the provinces. Let's imagine all these 300 plus, if they had stayed, because the reality is a good chunk have gone. That's why I said to look at your parents, look at your brothers and sisters, so that we don't repeat the same mistake. Because 300 plus well-trained medical doctors in this small Gambia can help a lot. So let's not look at the pounds, sterling, and the dollars. They help, but not all. My ministry congratulates the vice chancellor, the provost, the lecturers, the support staff of the School of Medicine for working tirelessly against uh, several challenges towards the achievement of this feat and all other objectives of the school. Finally, uh, and before I leave the podium, let me say a word or two to you, newly qualified doctors, and I shared them with your predecessors last year. That your career journey into the medical profession starts after you have sworn your oath and been inducted into the profession. The Minister of Health, Dr. Ahmad Lamin Samata says, his ministry is ready to receive the new medical practitioners into the profession. All what has been put into these young ones, all what has been said, at the end of the day, they are delivered to us in the health sector. If they come good, we face the brunt of it, and then we appreciate it, the people of this country benefit. If they are also not prepared, then the consequences are felt by the patients of this country. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this uh, group of inductees uh, is very special to me. And I'm going to tell you later on why they are special to me. But first of all, I want to use the opportunity to congratulate them. Congratulations. <clears throat> the health sector of this country is reforming. We are in the process of reforming the health sector. The government of His Excellency, President Barrow, is highly committed to giving the health sector the best. And we believe that the health sector of this country is going to be the best in West Africa and the African region as a whole. The reform process has started, starting with the six building blocks recommended by the WHO. Health system governance is very important and we've taken very strong steps in restructuring the health sector, in enhancing robust government mechanisms, in ensuring accountability and transparency in the sector. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Habad Rabensian, describes the induction as the beginning of a new journey for the new doctors. Today's swearing in ceremony presents a solemn but joyous occasion for our graduating medical doctors to swear their professional oath and thus become properly inducted into the medical profession by the Medical and Dental Council of the Gambia. After the completion of their program of study, doctors need such a statement.
to make a public commitment to the professional responsibilities they are assuming. Thereafter, these principles should provide guidance in the increasingly difficult, complex, ethical, life and death decisions they will make throughout their professional lives. It is therefore important for all of you newly qualified doctors to be properly inducted to go through the ceremony to appreciate what society expects from you as well as fully appreciate all the ethical and moral dimensions of your professional practice. In this respect, I am proud that this morning ceremony, we have 40 new junior doctors into the medical profession. The graduating class comprises 17 male doctors and 23 female doctors. The School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences at the University of the Gambia has trained to date 350 doctors from its inception to date, um, comprising 290 Gambians and 60 other nationalities. The 23 female and 17 male newly qualified medical practitioners are officially enrolled into the medical profession of the Gambia after seven years of rigorous training and examination by health specialists from the Gambia and beyond. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Galigo.